Hello, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Becca and today I would like to recommend you some audiobooks. So I've wanted to do this video for a while because I have listened to a few really, really good ones, but I don't listen to a lot of audiobooks. I don't retain information audibly, audially, orally as well as I do when I use my eyes. However, I did listen to an amazing audiobook recently and that really spurred on this video. I would also like to say that I am rating these on the quality of the audiobook, not necessarily the quality of the book. Some of these are books that I really did enjoy, however, some of them are not so great but have amazing audiobooks. So the first audiobook I would like to recommend to you is the one that inspired this video and that is Sadie by Courtney Summers. Sadie is a young adult thriller that follows two perspectives. The first one is from Sadie herself, who is hunting down the killer of her younger sister. The second perspective is from this guy who runs a crime podcast, and he has been asked by Sadie's surrogate grandmother to look into both the murder of Sadie's younger sister and where the hell Sadie has gone. So Sadie has a full cast recording, which means that for every little bit that's by a different person, there is a different narrator. The sections are from the perspective of the guy doing the podcast are in podcast form. So you have sound effects, you have like crackly bits when it's a recorded phone conversation. And I feel like that really added to the realism of the story. Sadie's bits weren't quite as interesting. They were just kind of standard. However, I do feel like the narrator for her parts was also amazing. And the two combined just created a really immersive audiobook experience. Like I said, I did prefer the podcast sections, but the book is still really, really good. I did really enjoy this book. However, the ending was not to my particular taste, and so I gave it four stars. However, if I was rating it on the quality of the audiobook, I would definitely give it a five. The second book I would like to recommend to you is a young adult paranormal romance. I did not particularly enjoy it, but the audiobook was really good, and that is the Wolves of Mercy Fall series by Maggie Stiefvater. This is an extremely character-driven young adult series that follows werewolves. I can't really explain the plot aside from there's werewolves in it because with it being character-driven, it doesn't really have much of one. This book is in multiple perspectives. You have two main characters and they are Grace and Sam. And for the audiobook, they are both narrated by different people, which really adds, again, to the dimension of the audiobook. In the second book, you do end up with more perspectives. You have four. So, of course, two more narrators are added to the cast. I feel like this book is a lot easier to digest in audio format. I find the narrators have very soothing vo voices as well, which makes it really easy to listen to. So if you are just looking for an easy read audiobook, or if you have been wanting to read this series for a while, because it is one of those like paranormal young adult classic type things, and Maggie Stiefvater is a well-loved author because of her Raven Cycle series, then you could pick this up in audiobook for a much easier reading experience. Next up, we have a personal nostalgic favourite of mine, and that is the Confessions of George Nicholson series by Louise Renison. These books played a great part in my childhood, and I absolutely adore them. So this is the diary of a 14-year-old girl, just as she's experiencing stuff that 14-year-old girls do. So learning how to pluck her eyebrows and experiencing romance for the first time and her first kiss and her first boyfriend and things like that and exploring the dynamics within her friendship of the Ace Gang which are a group of really crazy girls. So I never read the last book in this series when I was a kid so I wanted to reread them and I decided to check out the audiobooks and I'm so glad that I did. They are narrated by the author herself who sadly passed away a couple of years ago but these books are very particular in their language. The main character talks in a very interesting way with a lot of made up words. So having the author narrate this really helps and adds that like authentic dimension to George's character because the words are pronounced as they were meant to be and the inflection is right and everything's just perfect. I did recently figure out when rereading these, I didn't have a clue when I was younger, but I'm not sure exactly where they are set, but it is very close to the town that I grew up. Listening to these audiobooks is like coming home. I'm listening to them quite casually, just like a couple of hours a week. They're also really short, they're only four hours. Because I don't have a lot of time to dedicate to audiobooks, I don't like to listen to long ones because listening to them over such a large expanse of time really takes away from the experience because I can't keep track of the plot. 
but these are short they're sweet they're so funny they're hilarious so if you have been thinking of rereading this series i would definitely recommend checking out the audiobook for me personally they are a favorite and the audiobooks are on point then we have probably the first audiobook i ever listened to and that is the hate you give by angie thomas this follows the black lives matter movement and our main character star carter is at a party when the police arrive so her friend gives her a lift home they're pulled over by the police and he is shot now star goes to quite a prestigious school in a mostly white neighborhood but she lives in an extremely black i think it's exclusively black community and she struggles with those two aspects of her life she doesn't tell her friends at school that her friend was shot there's like a very clear divide in her personality and these two aspects of her life this book is a very emotional one it's very moving i teared up at quite a few points as you know i'm not a book crier but I will say that this book contains a lot of black vernacular and as somebody who is not only not black but living in the UK and not America, a lot of these words I wouldn't have really understood the meaning and quite got the exact way the book was meant to be told if I hadn't listened to the audiobook. The narrator does an excellent, excellent job of this and even though I think it's just one narrator, the voices for different characters were on point and I would really recommend reading this in the audiobook format. And lastly, we have Strays the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. What I want to say about this is that I have both listened to the audiobook and read this book physically and in my experience, listening to the audiobook is a little bit different and gave me different vibes than when I physically read it, so beware of that. But as you know, this is a story of Laszlo Strange, who is a librarian, and he's always dreamed of this lost city of wheat. The city doesn't really exist anymore. People think it's just a myth and they don't really know what's going on, but Laszlo is obsessed with learning what actually happened to the city that he does believe is real. Now, the audiobook for this is narrated by Steve West, who I believe also does i think he plays a part in the illuminate files but he is like a well-known audiobook narrator and it took me about 20 minutes or so to get into this because like i said it was a very different experience than reading the book physically but when i did get into it i thought that it was very very well done he differentiates his voices between characters very very well it is very compelling and it just brings the story to life the way that he tells it so that is everything for my audiobook recommendations i hope that you have found some of them useful i haven't read the usual ones that are recommended like illuminae so i thought that this would be a good video for me to do as i can give you a few different ones than you may have seen before please let me know if you know any good audiobooks that i could listen to because i'm very picky about them if i feel like the audiobook isn't going to stand up to what i expect from the book i will just read the book physically but if you do have any recommendations then please put them in the com comment box below but that is everything from me today please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to if you head into my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website the instagram for that and a 10 off discount code but that's it from me today bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you will go when nobody knows with guns in under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it no we're never gonna quit it no